Your assignment from the last video was to learn the repeater's frequency, the offset, and the tone. So I'm going to program in one of our local repeaters here in the Grass Valley area, and I know that the frequency is 147.285 megahertz. It's a plus 600 kilohertz offset, and the tone is 151.4. That's 151.4 hertz. So those are the three pieces of information that I know in order to program a repeater into the radio. Now let's see how that's done. Okay, so the first step is to enter the receive frequency into the radio. This is the 147.285 that I've, that I've learned. So I need to have the radio in the VFO mode. So we use the VFO mode switch here and uh, I'm just going to step through them. I get an MR up here. That means memory recall. I don't want that. Uh, I go here, I get a C for call. That's, I don't want that one. Bridge, up to 65. I don't need weather, and now I'm back to VFO. So now I can press 1, 4, 7, 2, 8, 5, and that fr frequency is now entered into the radio. Okay, so before we set the offset for the repeater, I want to double check the offset uh, frequency or the amount that's in the radio here. So before to do that, I go into the set mode here. So it's function set. And I want to use the up and down arrows until I see the little plus minus sign light up over here. Once I have that, it now shows me 0 0.60. That means I'm at 600 kilohertz offset. And I can use the knob here to change that. There it is, 61 back to 60, and press the enter to store that the offset amount. Okay, to set the offset direction, we we'll have to get back to VFO here for a second. And use the function dupe, and that'll step you through simplex, which is no offset, plus and minus. So I just press function dupe, and I see nothing here, so that means I'm in, I'm in simplex. If I press function dupe, Again, I see a minus, and I want to be plus, and if I press function dupe, I now see a plus sign, and I'm set for plus offset, which is where I want to be. Now we're ready to set the tone. There's two things we need. One is the first is the tone frequency, and then we'll set the tone itself. So to set the tone frequency, I go function set, and I want to step through here with the up-down arrows until I see RT. You can see that. RT. And then I can use the knob here to select my tone. So the tone I need for this repeater is 151.4. I use the knob to select that and then press the enter key to store that into the radio. Now to use the tone, to turn the tone on, I have a tone button up here and I press the function tone and there's like six tone modes to the radio. So I want to step through and I want to get where I see the little musical note here. That means I'm going to be transmitting a tone. So when I see that, I'm all set. So now I've set the frequency and the tone and I should be able to key up the repeater. Let's give it a try. I'm not sure I can key it up from inside the house. So let's, let's go outside and see if we can make a QSL. K7AGE, looking for a radio check. K7AGE. AGE and 6 cmf N6 N6CNF, I believe, from K7AGE. Name's Randy, located up in Grass Valley. Uh, just trying out a new radio here. EMS. Okay, uh, okay, Mike. Uh, uh, excuse me. I think. Bob, oh, my memory's going, Bob. Uh, and uh, oh, now I totally forgot your call. I'm totally, to totally f flabbergasted here. <laughs> Happens to all of us.
Okay, Bob, N6 EMS, like emergency medical services and such. Very good, where are you located? Uh, Brunswick Basin, pulled out of uh, AM PM. Got some petrol, heading for Alpha Sierra. Okay, we're working just across town. I'm out here on McCourtney, so. Anyway, just uh, checking here a new HHT um, I've been playing with here, so just, just checking it out. Yeah, yeah, this is a good system. Anyway, thanks for coming back to me and uh, have a good day, Bob. And 6 EMS from K7AGE. All right, sir, stay cool. And 6 EMS. And the radio works, works fine. One of the handy things to do is to store your, your settings into a memory. So the way we do that, we go function, memory recall. I use the up-down arrows, and let's say I want to put it in five. There's a five here, and it's blank. I press the function and then memory, and I hold that, and it beeps. And now I've stored the contents of the VFO mode in, into a memory position number five. To recall memory, you, you press the mode button to get the M recall up here. And now you can use the up down arrows and it steps through the memory. And there it is, five. And I have my 147 285 repeater loaded into memory. So, this series of videos have shown you basically how to get your two meter FM radio going, how to you know, get it basically set up, check out for a lot of the basic functions, know how to do the volume and the squelch, how to enter a frequency, um, how to um, enter in the parameters that you need for the repeaters. There's a lot of other things that these radios do too. You can scan, you can name the channels, um, weather alerts, it's just whatever all the other bells and whistles are. But what I've shown you now is enough that you should be able to get your radio on the air. If you have a mobile radio, it's basically going to be programmed the same way. It's just a, a different shape, bigger display, maybe more buttons, but the, the basics are the same. Repeater frequency, offset, and tone. Learn how to store it into a memory position so you can recall it easily. And uh, you should be good to go. I hope this has helped you all. If you've liked this, please press the thumbs up button. And uh, if, if you haven't subscribed, you can press that button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you much. Randy, K7AGE. Have fun on 2 Meter FM.